everyone i believe that you are fine wherever you are ladies and gentlemen may i take this opportunity to thank you very much and welcome you back again to zion kenya tv it will depends the time where you are as at now and i believe that this video is going to find so well consider to like this video consider to share the channel zion kenya tv and also subscribe if you never subscribed to channel plus drop your opinion at the comment section below as we deliver you the video ladies and gentlemen it is very clear that the governor of kiambu is now on another crisis that the mcs have regrouped themselves and demand justice after the governor himself have failed to deliver the promises which he made during campaign let us take a look on this video then we are going to carry on with our analysis as usual Solidarity and the auditor general to collaborate and do a forensic audit of all the procured projects and program in this county of Kiambu. I.e., or for example, there is a chicks. They are distributing chicks. A chick is going for a hundred shillings in Karo in Naivasha. But in papers, it is going for a thousand shillings. There is maize distribution that will happen early in April. In April. What we are saying, the distribution of maize, you see many lorries. Uh, uh, maize seeds. You see the distribution of the, the lorries, 10 lorries, taking some few bags uh, to a certain ward. This is a wastage of resources, and we are calling Governor Matangi to stop this wastage of resources. This amogral kind of government called Wamatangi Foundation. They are the mining MCAs in their wards, and we are calling him to stop and let the MCA do their jobs in their wards. The governor has a problem with decision making. Our county chief officers have not been in place since we were elected. The advert was done last year in October. The shortlisting was done and up to now the members who are shortlisted have not been appointed one year down the line and that is a county that is working. So one of the problems with our governor is decision making is very poor. In total we had 4.88 billion for development and as at April we had consumed only 400, 400 million, comprising of 8.2%. As we await the report from the control of budget on the financial year absorption, absorption dates, the situation is that in the county shows a dire need of re-evaluation. Across the departments, the development is actually below par. The figures on the development absorption points to a lot of failures across all the departments. Failing to spread on the environment development means Kiabu residents. Before I proceed with that video, ladies and gentlemen, if I may ask, why do you think that after every election, we've elected the leaders, then there is a looming of going back to the street? Not only the president, even the MPs, and now we are seeing even the governors, plus the MCs who are now making a threat to the Kiambu governor. Ladies and gentlemen, let us do our critical analysis on that video. Number one, we've listened to the MCs singing and demanding the impeachment of Kiambu governor. Wamatangi. I can say that as at now, 
governor wa Matangi is on a political IC. Number two, from that video, it is a clear indication that Omatangi had made a poor decision in running his administration. It is well illustrated by the MCS. Number three, the MCS are claiming that Wamatangi is working as a one man under his administration. Does it mean that he doesn't recognize the MCS to assist him in lawlessness or, or in making county government uh, decision? Then number three, Number four, sorry. The MCS have now exposed that they are no longer trusting the county boss. As they demand for the impeachment of Governor Wamata. Again, I ask myself, what of the deputy governor? It means that Wamatangi is selfish. He doesn't want to work to the people of Kiambu on his own to the people of Kiambu, sorry, to assist to ask for more details or assistment from the MCs. And again, if I may ask this, my last question. Do you think it will be easier for the MCS to impeach the governor? There is still doubt on that question. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, that is what I had at this moment. And I'm wishing you all the best as I'm eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below on what has made the Kiambu County to be in tension after the MCS have threatened to impeach the governor. Bye bye till we hope to meet on another video.